Chefs of the future, COF Nation, COF Nation. Chefs of the future, my name is Rich, and if you click play, you are part of the nation, and we welcome you. And today we welcome in the studio somebody who's never been here before, my man EK Fieve. What's good, bro? What's good, my boy? Listen, I've been trying to get this guy here for the longest, and now he's here, and he's on a special segment that we're starting here on the show. Uh, the positive feedback has been overwhelming, so we're continuing with it. That's a fact. It's called Save for the Food. It's where we get to highlight people that may not cook or may cook, but also rap or play an instrument or does music on the side or just does music. Well, this is the part for you to get highlighted here on the show on this platform. Right. So, Shout out Chefs of the Future, man. Glad to be here. Look, and the COF Nation welcomes you with open arms because, we again, we've been trying to get you here. Back when we was a podcast. And if you haven't already, plug, 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 plug. Head on over to anchor, anchor.fm slash chefs of the future. You'll see a part where you can interact with us. Do so. Leave a comment, suggestion. Join the conversation. Record your voice. Let us know your thoughts on everything we talk about. And everything we talk about will come back full circle Who? to see EK Fever is. Man, I'm a young rapper coming out of East Harlem feel me just doing what i gotta do right now doing what i gotta do on the ground we on the rise man shout out to everybody doing their thing feel me from the east to the west <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah and look shout out to them shout out to the people that's still grinding shout out to the small mom and pop shops shout out to the donut stores you know the donut shops that's still out there still braving the elements still braving the pandemic and putting food on the table and feeding so many people in the process and you know it's just heartbreaking as stories continues to pull out uh pour out as you hear people being terminated for various reasons mm -hmm. you know regarding the vaccine continue to follow the show you know subscribe comment join the conversation join the nation mm -hmm. for those stories and all of that moving ahead yeah go like and subscribe look now i want to Focus on you real quick. Soldiers were all here, yeah. Shed a tear like a blunt, let my motions the air. So no fear, so I stunt. Gotta keep my mind clear. I don't care, get no fuck. Got a heart like a bear. Man, I swear when I'm up, the fakes better stay there. Wasn't there from the jump, don't hit me when the sky clear. It ain't fair, but you never put in work for the chair. Shit is different in these streets, damn, missed old days. Rest a piece to fall the soldiers, we don't rock, no face. See, I keep my circle small, good fuck. I try on um, cooking some um lemon salmon. So when I tried cooking it, feel me, I looked over to do on YouTube, but I ain't follow like they died right. They made it. Uh, I want this some more flavor. Like I said, they put <laughs> yeah. they put just salt and pepper and lemon and butter. I right, yeah, that's good. But now I throw a little bit of some onion powder, garlic powder, throw some garlic butter, everything. Feel me? So I basically freestyled on it, made it my own way. But while I was making the food, I ain't gonna lie, I had fun making it. So I noticed that's what made me get into food a little bit more. So I started digging that. Mm hmm. So we all have a lifetime of experience with food. So we all had a lifetime to develop and specify our particular palate. So there's no wrong way to eat food. That's you know, there's no right way to love food. True. There's no wrong way to hate food. True. You know, it's just, it's, it's all perception and it's all uh, preference, mm -hmm. really. That's you know, that's what it all boils down to. That's and, but that's the beauty of food, that it's the universal language that binds us all together you know my thing is you put me in the kitchen no matter if i don't speak the language you know i'll find my way eventually because we speak the language of the spoon you know the pans the pots the bowls they all stay the same right. you know the people may change the language may change the culture the food you cook may change you know the way you cook it may change right but the heat the, the technique you know the the etiquette all stays the same that's a fact you know the love the passion is there prevalent especially when you're dealing with individuals that's continuously going to work continuously on the grind putting out music you know when it seems hopeless you know mm -hmm. or such a insurmountable mountain to climb but yet especially when you're investing in yourself because a lot of things feel me with this music and rapping 
especially independent rappers, feel me? We not signed, we not co-signed by anybody. So all that studio time, showing videos, that's all coming out of the rapper pocket, feel me? So, or Absolutely. And it comes down to anyone who's starting anything, mm -hmm. you know? It takes that, that belief in yourself. You know, whether you start in culinary school for the first time, mm -hmm. uh, you're starting, you know, a culinary course online, or you're just picking up a cooking book or watching a YouTube video of how to better cook a steak. You know, it's, it's, it starts like that, <laughs> but it starts with the interest, you know, that genuine interest. And that's what we're here to talk about at Chefs of the Future and to exploit and to shed light on, you know, yeah. that everyone has an opinion on the food love and there's just so much so much misconception it's a fact. you know going on we just here to show us how the chefs of the future and how we look like and uh, we just here to talk about things that's pressing us and the major thing that's been circling around right I want to get your opinion on is the plastic bag situation in New York yeah, City yeah the plastic bag yeah. Band. Now, now this has been something that we covered on the show previously but it's something that i continuously get comments on and i want to know your take on it like it's really really a headache you know when you go to the supermarket and you forget the bag or and that that you have mad at them in the house and yeah. then you're like Ugh. and yeah. <laughs> you know it, it's yet another thing that you got to worry about on top of the masks you know mm -hmm. How many times you forgot to run out the house so that you forgot your mask? Mm -hmm. Now you got to stop <laughs> and you have to by run the back store. up, yeah, or you run back up to the house mm -hmm. to get the mask. And you know, I want to get your perception on how safe do you feel shopping? You know, in general, well, that's that's really the the biggest elephant in the room. Like, what's your what's your confidence as a shopper when you go out to shop? Like, how confident you feel? And, well, I feel confident, feel me? You just got to keep that six feet, for real. <laughs> <laughs> keep that six feet, we good, you know? But um, shopping-wise, I ain't going to lie, shop, it's, it's a little crazy because, you know, especially supermarkets, you got those days where it be packed. Lines be long, everybody rushing, got attitude. So, in the way shopping is crazy, because, feel me, like, you, like I say, those busy days, you got people with attitudes, everybody want to shop, go home, cook do what they gotta do but i feel like it could get better within time feel me i feel like everybody not used to still having these masks at that feel me like it's mm -hmm. still new to us for real we're not we're not used to being in a pandemic feel me so soon it probably it probably get better it probably get better even though you know now we're a year in and i don't know if you've been out to eat you know since Everything is starting to slowly open back up, and we can now legally eat indoors in New York City now yeah. to certain capacities. Um, but so you're saying that are you willing to go out to eat? Like, yeah, I, I went to um, I ain't gonna lie, I went to BBQs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, um, as soon as they opened on Valentine's Day, went and got me some man, I went and got me some good drinks from there. Good for I went um, got me some honey wings. <laughs> <laughs> Word. So um, I ain't gonna lie, I felt safe. I felt good going out to eat. It wasn't even that many people. Feel me? So um, I so think you so, felt that the restaurant was doing the right thing. Yeah, they doing the right thing, especially keeping it at a low capacity. Feel me? That's real. I feel like that's real smart. But I feel like they could probably increase it, but not on no crazy. Feel me? Not no crazy limit. I feel like it should just keep playing it safe for now. So, so if they was to turn on the switch back to 100, percent would you feel like that's that's too fast or? Yeah, that's too fast. That's so, so you down for the progression, but you wanted to slowly, you know, slowly open back up. Yeah, a, like a slow peel back. You know, maybe one more table when I go back a month from now. Yeah, you know, two, three, four more tables a month from then. You know, when I go in for lunch, I don't mind seeing another table. You know. Mm -hmm. Another table, nah, yeah. but don't let me come in. You know, one week and you back to one hundred percent capacity, and mm -hmm. it's bumping and rocking, and you got people wearing masks and half wearing masks. Uh -huh. You know, it's it's. Yup. Then on top of that, it's like if they open back to one hundred percent, that's gonna um put more pressure on the um people that's washing the dishes because now they gotta wash more. Feel me? So at least if they keep it at a low capacity, that's giving them more better chances of sanitizing stuff. Way better, less people. 
So now they ain't got to work at a fast pace. You know what I'm saying? So now, boom, more sanitized stuff for people to use when mm -hmm. they go out to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, well, they were sanitizing at 100% before the pandemic. So that wasn't a thing. But it's the heightened level yeah, of sanitation. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, 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 that really detailed sanitation that you want to make sure stays prevalent in the restaurant culture right now. Mm-hmm. Specifically the restaurant culture Because we deal with something so fragile Is like what people eat And people put their livelihood on the line And their life They trust you mm -hmm. with their life When they choose to eat at your restaurant And choose to uh, e Even if it's press an app And they sp specifically choose your store You know That's a choice that they chose to make And you gotta take that with the utmost seriousness That's true So the high insecurity Especially in today's environment Is crucial I feel yeah. So you are right You know Keep it down If not for, for that You know So that you can maintain That level of Sanitation practices That has been turned up to 11 Since this pandemic started mm -hmm. You bring up a great point I didn't think about that Good Not for real <laughs> um, <clears throat> But yes So Like you were saying You're an artist And I know you've been Trying to Get your get your music off the ground. I've heard a lot of your songs. Well, a couple of like maybe a dozen of your songs, 12, 13 of your songs. And I love the flow. I love what you rap about. You know, I love your delivery and everything. The beats you choose to go on, the flows. So it's interesting sounding. And what's a plus on top of all that is that I know you personally, you know, so it's like that extra caveat of just Seeing you and making your projects and seeing your progress. Yeah, good looks, bro. You know, for good real. Looks. Appreciate that. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. So that's why we have this segment here where we can highlight, you know, your thoughts on the food industry, the restaurant industry, the dining industry, the hotel industry. You know, do you feel comfortable booking a hotel trip? You know, do you feel like they will be having the proper amenities on the plane blah 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 it goes on yeah. but then also let's bring it back and highlight what you could do in the stew you know yeah. in front of the mics you know why you here why you like you get what I'm saying yeah. uh, <laughs> you know we're gonna see what the skills is about say that we're gonna see what the skills is about and listen we making the transition and we live and if you haven't already head on over to anchor.fm slash chefs of the future you see a part where you can interact with us. Do so. And join the conversation. Record your voice. And let us know your thoughts on that. And also, comment below in this video. Subscribe. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe. And look, I want to shout out to the people that's been hitting up in the cash app. Because the support has been amazing. And we love y'all forever for that. Yeah, support that cash app. <laughs> in the cash app in the cash app that's where the cash at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the cash at and look shout out I think her name was Stacy she hit up 10 beans 10 beans is 10 beans Word. shout out to you man for real for real shout out to her shout out to her but it looks like it's time to shine baby shout out to guys man gang gang them old days we was young and ruthless Smack a nigga, got him looking clueless Chasing nigga T, running shoeless Got a lot of pain to put in the music Being in these streets, got my heart departed Short nigga, but I'm lying hearted Had to get low, sorry if we parted Niggas acting, please don't get me started Played the block so I can get a knock Flipping pot so I can make a